Hey guys, my name is Ismos, and today I want to share with you something that I've been working on for a while, and that is the asset library for Blender, which works similarly to the Blender asset manager uh, that comes built in with Blender. Uh, if you don't know what that is, it's uh, part of Blender uh, that lets you uh, manage your assets, and uh, it's been worked on by the official uh, Blender team or the Blender Foundation uh, team. If you're wondering why am I creating my own version, if Blender is going to add in uh, its own asset manager, uh, the reason for that is that uh, work on the uh, the asset manager for Blender that comes built in is a bit slow, understandably, of course, uh, because uh, anything that is going to be added into the final version of Blender has to go through a lot of testing and a lot of work uh, because a lot of people are going to be using this uh, software for a lot of uh, professional work so uh, the blender foundation gets more scrutinized than uh, uh, someone working on an atom so i understand why it takes a, it's taking a lot of work but uh, I, in the meantime i wanted to have something simple that i could use for my own project it is s exactly what i needed for working on my projects and maybe something that you might also find useful and uh, i'm going to be releasing this on the, the blender market uh, website but uh, for now it's going to be accessible to um, only my patrons as uh, I want to first get it tested and make sure that uh, everything works as it's supposed to. So I, I just wanted to do this video as a demonstration on how the add-on works. Another reason why I wanted to create my uh, own version of uh, the asset manager instead of using the Blender asset manager, I think the implementation of the asset manager, the inbuilt asset manager is a bit confusing. It's very hard to use uh, in its current state. I hope hopefully maybe in the future it will be ch it will be changed because right now I, I really don't understand how it works and I've seen a lot of other people are saying the same thing because uh, yeah the implementation is a bit uh, difficult uh, to understand so I wanted to have something simple that uh, has that only exposes uh, the features that are necessary for you to uh, get your assets uh, into the projects you want them so let's see how this one works so uh, if you have been following my channel you you know that uh, I make a lot of models uh, daily. So this is one of the folders that I have, and I can see each of these folders is filled with other folders that uh, have different uh, models. So yeah, keeping track of these models is a bit hard, so I needed something that uh, I could use uh, for that. Uh, the Blender Asset Manager was uh, uh, gave me some help, but uh, because of the delays in the project, I had to find something uh, find my own solution and uh, this came in form of the blender asset <laughs> in form of the asset library uh, add-on that I've created here so let me just show you demo a, a quick demonstration of how the add-on works so of course you can install it as any other add-on just go under preferences and uh, yeah I'll be uploading the zip file to the patreon page for now but uh, in the future it will be available to on the blender market uh, but, uh, let's go through a quick demonstration on how this works so you can see that uh, my asset library uh, right now has nothing. Again, to access it, you just hit N. After installation, you will find it under the asset library. And you can see we have get assets and uh, add assets in case you want to add your own assets. Uh, you can see we have different data types. We have objects, materials, and collection. And uh, they're all categorized in different categories. And uh, you can select uh, the asset you want. So you can see I don't really have anything here. Now, uh, to add any assets, uh, let me just have two projects here just to show you how fast uh, this is uh, and uh, just uh, maximize this. So assume this is a new project here. And uh, let me open another project where I'm going to add. So I'm going to use uh, the right side uh, for adding assets and uh, the left sides uh, to add assets into my scene. So I'm going to get a project here. Uh, that I'm going to use to add assets to my scene. You can see, let me just have this on the side here. You can see still the same asset library, no, nothing here. And uh, can go in here and start to look for things that I could add. So for example, let me see, I could add uh, this kitchen, uh, kitchen island can see it's made up of different items I uh, see different parts so uh, to add it I would have to add it as a collection uh, because uh, in the current state uh, I have three modes object materials and uh, collections a collection is uh, whatever collection you have here so for example if I wanted to add this as a collection I uh, you can go to the collection you can go to the add section and uh, go to the collections 
mode and you see that uh, since we have an object selected and uh, we are in collection mode you see that uh, we get the option uh, select object collection and I can select uh, the entire collection of uh, that object and I then I can go here we have a render preview and I just have to hit render and uh, you'll be able to render a preview of uh, that collection I can also change the angle just a bit render again just uh, see so you can find the best angle uh, that you like and then render I think this is great you can see one thing to make sure if you're using this add-on make sure that uh, if you have a collection selected make sure that uh, the collection name here matches uh, the collection that contains uh, the assets you have selected and usually uh, the the button you get here for example if I select this this here will get you the right collection uh, that uh, you want to add and uh, after you are done with the render preview uh, the name is going to be the name of the collection I can select a category since I have uh, since this is furniture I'll create a new category call it furniture furniture and then add that to uh, the asset library you can see that I've got a success pop up here and uh, then to add it in the uh, in the in any scene that I want I can just go in here and I know that uh, it was the it was a collection so I go to the add to the get assets and then collections and I select uh, the category and uh, then you can see that uh, I have that there it comes with the materials and everything and uh, you can see it is imported as a linked object but you can make it editable so that you can move uh, some of these parts uh, so I just select it if it's a if it's a linked object you just hit make editable and now you can move any of these parts you can import again I have to import another one maybe like that yeah so uh, let's see if I wanted to add this here I can also do that uh, but uh, since this is a single object uh, if you can add it as a collection or you can see because uh, this collection contains more than one object you can see selected all the objects that are inside that collection but uh, let me just add it as a single object like this select it go under object you can see that uh, we get the name and uh, I can you can have it in the furniture collection as well do a quick render preview let me just make sure that I'm facing yeah something like that then add asset you can see now it's added so now I just go to the objects and I have that you can see how quick that is and now we're not only limited to objects or collections we also have materials so if I want to say uh, this material here I can just let me first expand this I uh, need to make sure that uh, you have the right material selected so if I go to if I select the asset go to the material tab you can see that uh, it has metal 001 selected it's, it would be better if you have if you name your assets better than I'm doing here but uh, this is just a demonstration video I don't want I didn't want to waste a lot of your time with that so I uh, can go to the materials and make sure that you have the right material selected so I want this material let me make sure that I rename this uh, to let's say wood uh, wood um, vanish I call it wood vanish because it's a bit reflective and uh, if you have renamed the objects before you add them to the asset manager make sure you save otherwise uh, the asset manager will try to, to look for that object uh, but uh, it won't find it because other names are different so make sure that uh, the names when you change any object name that you want to add to the library you save uh, the project file uh, that asset is coming from before you add it to the library uh, so now that we have that uh, we can also render a preview uh, this is also we can still go with that furniture collection uh, if you have other collections you, ca you can add them here uh, each of the mods here has a uh, their own uh, categories so 
since we haven't added any materials or any material categories we don't have them here so i can just add a new uh, a new uh, category uh, you have to make sure that uh, you have an object selected to add to add any of the objects in your scene so you can see if i deselect if i select a different object uh, i'll be adding that object instead of that so uh, so for the wood vanish uh, let's make sure that uh, we render a quick preview of that and then make sure that everything is as we want it then save or add to library then we can come here and i'll go to the materials and i should see that i would have that so now to add that uh, to an object let me just add a susan head here a shade smooth i just have to select the object go to materials and uh, find the category that i have where the material is and then bam done the textures everything comes with it and uh, yeah again this add-on is going to be available to my patrons if you want to get it i uh, can become a patron and get it there and uh, maybe in a few days i'll have it on uh, the blender market website as well and yeah so it's a very I think useful add-on so let me s add a few assets here let's see get rid of this yeah so you can see i have a speaker here and uh, it's a speaker collection so if i wanted to add the collection if you're in object mode and you want to add a collection uh, make sure you that uh, you are in add asset you can select multiple objects and uh, it will give you uh, this option if you are in collection modes and uh, you might get this uh, multiple objects selected switch to collection and i should switch to collection and then you get the active collection then make sure that uh, the names are matching and uh, you you are you are in the category you want and, uh, if you deselect just reselect so just add a new category or call this electronics electronics render just get a better preview here something like that maybe that yeah that's better then add that should be added so if i go back to the this project or if i create a new project doesn't matter open up the asset library uh, i think i added it in the collections and in the electronics part and uh, now you see we have our speaker and uh, another thing you can do if say you have uh, this collection here and you try to add it again you see you get an error that uh, the asset you're trying to add is already added uh, because obviously we have already added that uh, so let us first get rid of that. so if you want to have a few changes of this what you can do is uh, maybe duplicate uh, the collection like that and, uh, if you want you can change the materials let me just change this so now this use this material yeah you can change this yeah so we have a variation here again same process it will recognize that this is a different project or a different uh, collection and uh, since we have duplicated this or added a different object make sure you save uh, this file before you add the asset from this file uh, into the collection otherwise uh, the library i don't know, will try to look for it and uh, it won't be able to find so do a quick render like that add asset to the library and now we can come in here and we should have a variation like that so you can see how intuitive this is and uh, again if you want to get the add-on you can find it on my patreon page uh, then in a few a few days or a few weeks i'll be adding it to uh, the blender market for everyone else thank you for watching i'll see you in the next video